For decades, astronomers have closely monitored one of the brightest and most mysterious stars in our night sky, Betelgeuse, a colossal red supergiant located in the shoulder of the Orion constellation. Immense in size, unstable, and teetering. On the brink of collapse, scientists have long known this star's end was inevitable. What they didn't know was when it would happen. Now, that long-anticipated moment is upon us. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity has witnessed what was once considered unobservable, the birth of a supernova in real time. We're watching the violent death of a giant star, an enormous eruption of energy rippling through space. This rare, unfiltered glimpse into the explosive forces that shape galaxies, forge planets, and create the elements essential for life is not science fiction. It's reality. The universe has chosen this moment to reveal one of its most profound secrets, and we are fortunate enough to see it as it happens. This is not just another astronomical event. It is a once-in-a-generation occurrence. Betelgeuse's explosion marks the closest supernova ever documented by humanity, and what the Webb Telescope has captured could reshape our entire understanding of stellar life cycles. Betelgeuse isn't merely large. It's a behemoth, more than 700 times the size of our sun, and almost 20 times more massive. Astronomers have had their eyes on it for years. Especially since 2019, when the star mysteriously dimmed, sparking worldwide speculation that its final countdown had begun. With Webb's unparalleled infrared sensitivity, we're now detecting phenomena no telescope has ever seen. We are observing direct indicators of stellar collapse, enormous energy discharges, the outer layers of the star roiling and twisting, and magnetic fields spiraling out of control. Betelgeuse isn't simply dying. It's undergoing a dramatic transformation right in front of us. For several months, the Webb Telescope has remained focused on Betelgeuse, peeling back the thick veils of dust and gas to expose events once thought impossible to witness. The data being returned is nothing short of extraordinary. Massive convective bubbles, each the size of Jupiter, are bursting across the star's surface. Plumes of superheated plasma are ejecting into space at speeds of thousands of kilometers per second. Hidden deep within the light spectrum, scientists have detected a shockwave racing through the star's outer layers, heralding the beginning of the end. This isn't a simulation or a computer model. It's real, the anatomy of a supernova unfolding in real time, just 642 light years from Earth. Unlike other supernovae that occur in faraway galaxies, this one is happening in our cosmic neighborhood. Betelgeuse's explosion might even outshine the full moon, visible to the naked eye in daylight. But the real significance lies in its proximity. For the first time, scientists can examine the death of a star in remarkable detail. How its core collapses, how the elements are forged, and how shockwaves interact with the interstellar medium. This isn't just about a star's demise. It's about understanding the process that created everything, from carbon and oxygen to iron, the elements that make up our world and our bodies. What the James Webb Telescope has captured goes beyond a visual spectacle. It's a key to unlocking how galaxies evolve, how planets are born, and how the universe continually recycles itself. For the first time in history, we can construct precise models of a star's death and may even learn how to predict future supernovae before they explode. But this story doesn't stop at light alone. Webb has detected early bursts of energy, streams of high-speed particles tearing through space, heating surrounding gases, and reshaping Betelgeuse's massive dust halo. Even more astonishing, there's evidence of a gravitational disturbance, a ripple in space-time itself. If verified, this could mark the first time a visible supernova has been directly linked to gravitational wave data, potentially revolutionizing 
our understanding of matter, energy, and the very structure of the universe. Yet a crucial question remains. What has been left behind? Will it be a neutron star, a black hole, or something previously unknown? Webb's data points to an uneven, collapse marked by chaotic magnetic fields and asymmetrical fallback, where some material is being pulled inward rather than blasted outward. Some researchers now propose we may be witnessing the formation of a completely new kind of celestial object, something theorized for decades but never observed. It could be a transitional remnant, an object existing between the states of a neutron star and a black hole, and Webb may have just uncovered it. Given the proximity of Betelgeuse's explosion, it's natural to wonder if Earth is at risk. Fortunately, the star is far enough away to pose no direct threat. Still, the blast will release waves of radiation, gamma rays, and electromagnetic energy that will travel across light years, potentially reshaping interstellar dust clouds and altering how starlight reaches us. These changes could forever transform our view of the universe. Betelgeuse serves as a reminder that even the most immense celestial bodies are not eternal. Stars, those seemingly permanent fixtures in the sky, are mortal, but in their deaths they bring forth new beginnings. From this star's destruction, new stars will form, new planets may coalesce, and perhaps new life will one day emerge from the debris. Among the most incredible of Webb's discoveries is the detection of rare elements, such as technetium and others, formed only during the most violent stellar deaths. These unique atomic signatures allow us to trace matter's journey through time, from ancient dying stars to the birth of new worlds and even into the biological makeup of our own bodies. This story is not just about Betelgeuse. It's about all of us. Betelgeuse will no longer shine in Orion's shoulder. Its brilliant light will fade into a vast nebula of dust and gas. But in that final breath, it gave humanity more than just brightness. It offered clarity. This is not the end. It's a cosmic rebirth. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we were here to witness it. In the stillness of space, a star has collapsed. But what it leaves behind is a message that began long before Earth existed and will continue long after we're gone. So now we must ask, what other secrets does the universe hold? And are we ready to witness them?